The numbers are in for June, and in the 16-county central Indiana marketplace surrounding the city of Indianapolis, the medium home prices are up 7% from a year ago and sitting at $320,000. Homes are selling in nine days as opposed to seven days a year ago, and they're selling at an average discount of 1% below the list price from a year ago. So hey, note to self, don't think you're going to bid 10% off the list price and get the property. This ain't 2008. Now, sales are down 12%, and that's pushing inventory up 21% to 4,262 homes for sale in central Indiana. But that's only a 1.6 month supply, and a balanced market ought to have six months. So as that old song says, we've got a long way to go to get there. In Hamilton County, prices are essentially flat, sitting with a median average price of $453,000. They're selling on average in six days, which is, hey, one day shorter than a year ago. They're also selling at a half a percent below asking price. So on a $453,000 home, what's that, uh, $22, $2,300? With sales slowing, inventory is growing, but there's still only 1.2 months supply. And again, that ought to be six months. On the street, this is what I'm seeing and hearing. Good houses in good locations, in good condition, are selling fast. And I might add, for top dollar. So wannabe sellers, get your home ready. This ain't 2021. And for buyers, come prepared. Get yourself pre-approved in advance. Not pre-qualified, pre-approved. If you don't know the difference and why, ask me. And have the lender make out the pre-approval letter for as much as you qualify for. There's two reasons why. Number one, if you see a house that you just really love and have to have, you'll be ready. Even if it's outside that budget that you had in mind and more than that letter, you'll be ready and you won't lose out. Because, hey, you're not gonna have to be trying to find your lender at seven o'clock on a Saturday night. That's not a good strategy for success. Number two, many people don't want that letter to state one dollar more than what the asking price on the house is. They don't want the seller to think that they have $1 more that they can afford to spend on that house. But guess what? Think about what you're telling the seller. You're telling them that you're at the top of your ability to purchase. And given the choice, they're gonna look at other offers and they're gonna find one where there's a big gap between what somebody can afford and what they're buying. That will make the very little risk of that loan not closing. So if you really wanna buy a certain house and not just practice writing offers, do these two things to increase your odds of being successful. Now, if I can be of service, hit me up in the comments below or call me directly. And hey, make it a great day now. If you're considering relocating to the greater Indianapolis area or moving anywhere within central Indiana, be sure to tune in every week to learn all there is to know about real estate and living in Indiana. Whether you're buying or selling, please keep in mind, I work harder to make good things happen. Hey, make it a great day now. And if you found this video helpful, be sure to watch this next clip right now.